cross your path somewhere. God has drawn the line. And He always warns you. You better slow up. You better stop. Better think. Better turn around. When you rebel and harden your heart and stiff in your neck and refuse, I say, go on. Go on. Go on. I said, God told me to go on. And the day of Moses, he gave them a writing of divorcement and told them to marry again. But Jesus explaining it said, only from the hardness of your own hearts. And it shall come to pass. Deuteronomy 28, 63. That is the Lord thy God rejoiceth over thee to do thee good and to bless thee and to multiply thee even so shall the Lord thy God rejoice over thee to destroy thee and cut you down to nothing. Neither we're going to let God bless us and bless Revelation 21. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars. Their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when a man will keep his hope stayed upon me beyond the circumstance, then he's true unto me. But I say, when a man will give up in circumstance and cast himself down, where does he go? I say that he goes in the wallow, the mire of his own understanding, and I say that he will die in the same. For I say that I, the living God, do not call men to walk under the mind of their own understanding, but rather to walk in the mind of my spirit revealed. For I say it is me, the living God, who does show the way to any and all who will cleave to me, believe upon me, and trust in me. But I say that the ones who are pursuing the course of their own understanding, I say they will end up destitute of truth. And I say they will end in a deep ditch of despair because they are so far from me. And I say it is because they have chosen their own understanding rather than the mind of my spirit, rather than the way that I ordained. Now I say this day in this wicked, perverse, and vile generation that I, the living God, am showing my wrath revealed. And I say it may appear that the wicked prosper, but it absolutely is not true. For I say it is me, the living God, who will bring them to naught. It is me, the living God, who will release the wrath upon them when they are in open and proud display. And I say it is me, the living God, who will cause them to be humble, that they must indeed cry out for mercy from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving a call to any and all who will listen, who will obey, who will be brought forth, guided in my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is all mercy and strength and hope provided. And I say to a people who will continue to repent, I will continue to show my mercy unto them. But I say to the proud, the defiant, the self-righteous fools who must have their way, I say they will end in a deep ditch of their own destruction. I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that the ones who serve me with gladness will be made faithful unto me. That is, by continuing to believe me despite the circumstance or situation that they are in. For I say that the ones who will truly be mine and found acceptable unto me are the ones who will endure steadfastly in me. That is, the ones who will continue to keep their focus, their vision upon me, and walk uprightly in my way. Now I say this day, let it be me that you will look unto and believe. Let it be me that you will follow after, for I am the source of life to thee. And I say, when you will continue in me, continue believing and hoping in my way, then you are afflicted, directed, and brought forth by me. And yes, you are given the strength, the blessedness, the truth, the mercy, and the peace that I provide. For I say that I, the living God, will give the good things of who I am to the ones who keep their vision stayed upon me. But I say to the ones who turn aside to other lovers, other gods, what is it that they do to themselves? I say they put themselves under my wrath and my fury, for I say that I will not find 
joy in those who worship idols, in those who go in a place of estrangement from me, in those who pursue the course of their own futility and despair. For I say, when men will feed upon that which is fleshly, upon that which is carnal, I say, they become as beasts. And I say that they will pursue the course of their own destruction, and I, the living God, will assist them in the same. For I say, they are so disgusting unto me that I will be satisfied when they are done away with and remembered no more. I say this day that I don't have been God to intend you to walk uprightly each day to be guided forth and directed in me. And I say that I do intend you to be a partaker of all that I give time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, the way that is truth, the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who guides forth the ones who believe upon me, trust me, and obey. Therefore I say, be faithful, be true, be steady, to keep on walking uprightly in me day by day. And I say, be made glad that for me you are given the hope always. I say, be made glad that through me you are directed, corrected, and shown the light upon the path. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and light, and the way wherein you are kept in me. But I say, when any departs from me to take up any other God any other way, they are taking the way of death. I say, there are endless multitudes who will end in death and likewise death. And I say there are likewise endless multitudes who are found under my wrath, my fury, my indignation revealed. For I say it is a time that I, the living God, will display my open hatred for the ones who have gone according from me. That is, for the ones who have taken to themselves multiplied deviations from my way, and yet are sporting themselves in the sinfulness of the same. For I say when men will deviate from me to go after other gods, other lovers, I say, they are pursuing the course of their own despair. And I say, when men will take up deceit and walk in the same rather than the truth, I say, they will reap the reward of lies. For I say, that I, the living God, am not mocked, and when men will choose another way than the way that I provide, they are choosing the way of death, the way of their own destruction. And I say, they are choosing a despair that will not leave them, but will be ever present in their lives. Now I say there are some who are seeking to destroy my truth and my life, and I say they will not be satisfied till they think they've accomplished the same. But I say that they will be grossly disappointed, for I say that it is me, the living God, who will cause them to merely frustrate themselves. That is, I will give them the torment, the anguish that comes of the deep, dark deeds that they do, and I say they cannot escape the same. And I say it is me, the living God, who will cause them to be beaten with many stripes, as they are headed headlong into hell. For I say that I, the living God, am punishing the wicked, the evil doers, the one who, ones who are pursuing the course of their own despair. And I say that I'm bringing to naught the proud fools who must have their way because they are so far from me. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk afar off, but I say that I call you to come forth in my life. And I say that I call you to be made glad for the privilege to love, to serve, to obey me, and be ever guided forth by me. For I say it is through me, the living God, that you are given the light upon the path, the truth, the strength, and the mercy day by day. And I say it is through me that you are guided, for I will bring you forth. And I say when you will continue in the way of my righteousness, the way of my truth, and the way of my peace provided, then I say you are kept each day by me. And yes, you are directed, corrected, and instructed, for it is me, the living God, who will give you exactly what you need. Now I say this day when you see the proud, the stubborn, the defiant who must have their way, who despise what it is that I would take them through to make them real in me, what do you see? I say you see those who are empty, vain, and void, and have no substance at all. For I say they insist, persist, and pursue the course of their own damnation, and I say in the same they will be found perishing before me. For I say that I, the living God, do despise the ones who want their way and insist and persist in their willfulness to have the same. 
For I say it is not me they want to please, it is not me that they will follow after. For I say they are full of the dark wretchedness of their own sins. And I say that they will be walking in that which is full of vanity, stupidity, and darkness time and again. I say this day be thankful to look to me as the author and the finisher, be thankful to look to me as the beginning and the end. For I say you are privileged to be guided, directed, and shown my light upon the path. But I say that those who insist in their own understanding, in their own way, are insisting in lies. And I say they will be consumed of the very lies they've chosen about the truth. Now I say when you see a man or a woman who has been turned over to lies, I say they can do nothing but lie day after day. That is, they will lie and make up their inventions, their fabricated tales, and I say all the while they are despising the truth. And I say it is me, the living God, who literally becomes their enemy because they hate my way. That is, they hate the truth and the light that I could have given unto them to cause them to be transformed and able to serve me. And I say, because they are hating the light, despising the truth, I say it is me, the living God, who makes my war against them. And yes, they will fight, they will fight, they will fight, but what is it that they fight for? I say they are fighting against me merely to damn their own souls and take the course of their own destruction. And I say while they are so wise in their own conceit, the reality is they are empty-headed fools. For I say they have gone in that which I never intended nor did I provide. And I say they have taken up the way of their own misery and wretchedness, and I say in the same they shall remain. I say this day do not, absolutely do not have pity upon those who are found in their wretchedness because they have chosen against me. And I say do not have pity on the ones who put on their own show of pretentious hypocrisy and all the time their hearts are far from me. For I say that I the living God do not call men to live in hypocrisy, but I say that I call them to be guided in truth. And I say that I call them to be thankful each day that they can continue loving, believing, and trusting in me. Now I say this day that I the living God do intend that my people would humble themselves, would bow the knee, would walk circumspectly in me. And I say that I do intend that the ones who are mine would be pursuing the course of my righteousness revealed. For I say it is me, the living God, who gives to the sons of men the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength, and the hope day by day. And it is me, the living God, who does direct, correct, and instruct the ones who believe me, trust me, and will walk uprightly in me. I say this day that I, the living God, do not leave my beloved to be devoured by the wolves, devoured by the wicked, devoured by those who are evildoers. But I say that I will bring forth the man, the woman, who is continually hoping in me. Therefore I say in a wicked time when my wrath shall be revealed upon the wicked, I say be thankful to be found ever abiding in me and to be brought forth by me, the one true God who is able. I say this day do not, absolutely do not give up because of circumstance or situation, but I say maintain your confidence in me. And I say be coming forth in that which I give you, which is the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope that I provide. And I say be ever thankful to continue in that which I, the living God, do give to the ones who are in obedience unto me. That is the way of my truth, my light, my mercy, my hope, and my peace provided. For it is a privilege to believe me, to trust me, and to walk in me day by day. And I say for the fools who turn aside to their idols, who turn to other gods of the lovers, let them know the emptiness, the futility of the saints. For I say that I the living God am not mocked and whatsoever it is that men will put their confidence in other than me will prove to be futility unto them. And yes, they will howl, they will moan, but I say they are alone because they did not trust in me. And I say they will look to their circumstance again and again and rant and rage and curse and wish that they could do something about the same. But I say it is because they are trusting in that rather than me. And I say, the same becomes the curse upon them, the same becomes the weapon that I use to beat them, because they stop hoping in me. I say, continue to hope in me, and you will not be made ashamed.
God does not use natural disasters to punish innocent people. He never has, and he never will. Why? Because God is love, says the Bible at 1 John 4, 8. Jeremiah 45. I am bringing disaster upon all flesh, declares the Lord. What? I'm starting to agree with that. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. But he's starting to agree with 